check, check, mic check, 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 mic check. <laughs> Welcome to Podcast Envy, episode number 42. I'm your podcast boss, Andrea Clunder, and a few short episodes ago, I believe it might have been episode 37, I told you, don't ghost your podcast listeners. And then I released a few more episodes. And then I released one episode number 41 about beginnings and endings. And then there was nothing for a few weeks. And it seemed like I was not taking my own advice. It seemed like I was ghosting my podcast Envy listeners. You, I would never do that to you. I promise. It was very short term. And I am here to give you an explanation. Not that as a podcaster, you owe anybody an explanation, but there really is a real reason as to why I have not released any episodes in the last few weeks. And I just wanted to share that with you. So I had grand plans for January 2019. As you probably know, if you've listened to episodes in the past, I was inviting you to participate in one of two programs with me for newbies just getting started with podcasting, looking for a little extra support to get that show created and launched and out in the world, I was offering the Podcast Envy Launch Pod, a group coaching program where we could work together to launch new shows that have some substantial quality and some oomph and some support behind them so that they would not put out three to five to seven episodes and then pod fade. The Launch Pod was going to begin in January 2019. And Maybe you were one of those people who signed up to get more information and then heard crickets from me. Or maybe you were interested in the Podcast Envy VIP Circle, which is for podcasters who are already podcasting but are ready to grow, ready to take your show to the next level, ready to dig a little deeper to see what else is possible in the world of podcasting. That was also crazily going to start in January. And maybe you signed up to get more information. And maybe you also heard crickets. We don't really get crickets that much in Chicago. There's too much other ambient noise pollution that it's really hard to hear crickets. But I imagine myself in the country listening to those crickets because I did not communicate well with you. And this is the reality of what happened I had all of these great intentions, all of these great plans. I was putting everything in motion. And then on January 2nd, I received a call from my doctor with some hmm, less than desirable medical test results that kind of sent me into a tailspin for, I don't know, January And now we are into February. So the last six weeks, which actually feels like six months or even six years of time since that has happened. On this show, I'm not going to get too deep into the weeds with details of said medical diagnosis. Rest assured, I will be fine. However, it is going to result in surgery and I am going to need to take some time off, which is like almost the harder part of that to say, the taking time off part more so than the surgery part. I know that's weird, right? But that's how my brain works. And it's not necessarily that I don't want to share those details with you. It's just that this is a show about podcasting. So I'm going to keep it relevant to podcasting and what you need to know and what I think is important for you. However, as you may or may not know, I do have another podcast called The Creative Imposter, which is more about creativity, entrepreneurship, thinking outside the box, and that little voice that we have in our head every time we're trying to do something new or put ourselves out there or take a creative risk that says, Who do you think you are? Nobody's going to care about that. You'll never be successful. You don't know what you're doing. It's never going to work. You're not good enough. You're an imposter. On The Creative Imposter, I am going to share a little bit more about what is happening with me personally and how that affects me as a creative professional, as a freelancer, 
as a media producer and more about that particular journey. So if you are curious to know the personal details of what is happening with me, please go subscribe to The Creative Imposter and you will have your curiosity satisfied. Suffice to say that even though I am physically well at this moment and have been since this diagnosis, there are no symptoms that are affecting my overall feeling of health and well-being. And though the surgery has not happened yet, I did have to take a step back from producing new content. And here's that chain reaction of things that happened. And I am sharing this part with you because I do think it is relevant to you as a podcaster and as a content creator, because sometimes we put so much pressure on ourselves to be consistent and get our content out there and do all the things that we said we were going to do. And especially if you are a business of one, sometimes you just can't. Sometimes you have to prioritize the personal and figure out how to balance that with the professional. If you are somebody who has clients and again, you are a business of one or maybe you have some admin support, but there really isn't anyone else who can cover your clients for you or pick up that slack or offer what it is that you offer in terms of services, then it puts you in a bind when you suddenly have this medical situation or whatever interruption is coming into your life that makes it impossible for you to make good on all of the things that you have committed to do. So once I received this diagnosis, I needed to do several things. I needed to do a crap ton of research because I needed to immediately become an expert in the diagnosis, in the situation, and what my options are. Because if there is anything I know about our current system of healthcare, it is that you must be your own advocate. You must do your own research. You must ask questions. You must ask for what you need. And you must be proactive in getting those things and finding out what your options are. So. Research took up a lot of time and energy. All of a sudden, doctor's appointments, both Western medical doctor's appointments and holistic medicine and healing appointments. I mean, I think I went to more doctor's appointments in the last two months than I have in the last 10 years. I also had to immediately up my self-care. All of the holistic practitioners were telling me, are you getting enough sleep? Are you taking your supplements? Are you eating well? Maybe you should consider or... In some cases, definitely you should consider some dietary changes, which if you have ever drastically changed your diet, you know that is not easy. It takes a lot of work. It takes a lot of preparation. You have to think about groceries differently, blah, blah, blah. It also meant depression. Not exactly a pervasive kind of all-encompassing depression, but moments, days where I just could not get my head to the place where I could be productive, where I could be creative, where I could edit a narrative podcast, where I could record some new content, where I could come up with a creative lesson plan for my high school podcasting students. There were just days where I had to just be in, oh my gosh, that Drake song just popped into my head. Ugh. Okay, <laughs> I'll spare you that. But I had to be in my feelings. I had to be with what was happening and I just couldn't do. Oh, it's podcast angel time. Podcast angel time is that time where I share with you one of my podcast angels. Podcast angels are those products, services, companies, brands, etc. that help support podcast envy and what it is that I am creating and sharing and doing with you. Today's podcast angel is Lipsyn. It's early in the year. Maybe you wanted to launch that new podcast in January, but didn't quite make it. And that's totally fine. You're still working on creating your plan, developing your content, learning how to record, getting everything you need. One thing you definitely need is a podcast host. And I cannot recommend Libsyn more to fulfill that role for you. Libsyn will hold all of your media files for you and distribute them out to all of the directories and social media places that you would like to send your show every time you send a new episode. They keep your data nice and safe and sound and secure. And they also provide a lot of educational resources and support for the podcasting community. For example, Libsyn's The Feed is an industry podcast that I listen to every single episode. 
The other cool thing is that Lipson is going to be at PodFest this March 2019. So if you are a new podcaster, conferences can still be for you and you can have a chance to meet the Lipson team there. That's Libsyn, L-I-B-S-Y-N dot com. And if you are signing up for a new account, you can use the promo code ENVY, E-N-V-Y, to get a free month. Oh, pro tip, you don't actually need to create your Libsyn account until you have episodes finished and ready to go and you are ready to submit to the directories, Apple, Google, Spotify, etc. Once again, that's Libsyn.com, L-I-B-S-Y-N, linked in the show notes for this episode. Use promo code NV to get your first month free and they'll send me a wee little thank you check for introducing you to their service. And so now here we are. Mid-February, there is a little bit of a clearing. All the tests, all the scans have been done, all the research. I mean, I don't think I can research anymore at this point without really digging deep in the weeds of obscure information. I need to take a little break from that. Oh, and here's the part that is really relevant for you if you are a freelancer, if you are someone who has clients, if you are a business of one. My clients are amazing kind, thoughtful, caring, understanding, and flexible. I love them. However, rightly so, and this is coming from both their end and my end, there is a need to have some reassurance. And so that means pushing forward faster on some of that content and on some of those projects to get us to a point where I can comfortably take two to three weeks off and know that their work is in a good place so that when I come out of that recovery period, I'm not suddenly unable to meet the expanded deadlines that we've created in some cases. So I am suddenly trying to do, let's say, six weeks worth of work in a three-week time span at the same time that I'm trying to do more self-care and sleep more and take it easy and rest more and change my diet. And it is a lot to manage. I am not complaining or whining to you. I am just telling you the reality of how it is. And so I think that you can see how with this push to get to a certain place on my client projects so that I'm not stressing out about that. Oh, yes, mark my words, hear me on this. It's not just to make the clients happy. I'm pushing forward on that because I also know that if that is looming and I feel behind, that will be a stress inducer for me during recovery period. And I will want to push myself during that time. And I would rather push myself now than push myself then. Does that make sense? So yes, this is selfish. (laughs) Working extra hard in this moment is actually selfish for the podcast boss. It's not that I am putting someone else's needs above my own. Be clear about that. So with all of this, the thing that had to go by the wayside was my own content, my own show production, and also the plans that I had because I didn't feel comfortable taking on new clients to say, I'm going to help you launch your show, and then I'm going to disappear for three to six weeks, but then I'll be back. So if you are somebody who was strongly considering the launch pod, guess what? It's going to happen. It's just going to happen starting in mid to late April. So if you are in that place where you are finally getting ready and you want to start working on your show and you want to get it launched and you want that support, you can still sign up and get details. And this time I promise not to ghost you. You can get details for the launch pod in the show notes, as well as the VIP circle, which we will also be starting out in late April. No worries. It's happening. It's just on a different time than what I had originally thought, which happens sometimes. You just have to surrender control. So I do also have one more piece of excellent news, which is that because of the way everything has shaped up and because of the way everything has been scheduled, magically, 
I am still able to attend PodFest in Orlando, Florida. PodFest is an amazing little intimate, well, it's kind of in between intimate and big, but it feels really intimate and family-oriented conference for podcasters and media content producers coming up March 7 through 9, 2019. There are still tickets available if you want to gift yourself a weekend of hanging out with other podcasters, learn new things. And oh, hey, you can come to my session. I am going to be offering a breakout session on voice training for podcasters. So again, you may or may not know this about me, but prior to being a podcaster, I was a yoga and meditation teacher. Prior to being a yoga and meditation teacher, I was an actor and singer, still a singer. I mean, I'm probably still all of those things inside, (laughs) but actively a singer. I've studied musical theater. I've studied acting. I've studied opera. I've sung in choirs. And I know a fair amount about how to use your voice as a tool for connection, how to communicate expressively by using your instrument. And I have to be honest, when people are asking me about tech and gear and what microphones to use, I always kind of want to say, use whatever microphone. What's more important is how you use your voice. So voice training for podcasters, it's going to be exclusively available to you at PodFest in Orlando, March 7 through 9, 2019. I will be linking to PodFest in the show notes for this episode, show notes you can find in the description of whatever app you're using to listen to this. If hyperlinks are not supported there, shame on that app developer. However, if hyperlinks are not supported there, of course, you can also find the show notes with links on my website. This episode will be at thecreativeimposter.com forward slash pod nv042 for episode 42. Okay, I think that's it. I think that's all the updates. This is just to say that I am not ghosting you. I'm not going anywhere. I will be here. I will help you launch your podcast. I will help support you in continuing to widen and deepen and grow your podcast through the VIP circle. I will be at PodFest. I hope to see you there. Please find me if you are going to be there please find me. And I will be coming back with more content. What I'm working on for Podcast Envy, just so you know the direction we're going, is social impact, podcasts that mean something, nonprofit organizations, measuring success beyond monetization and stats, narrative storytelling, and how to get the most out of your show. I just don't know what the new schedule will be and when new episodes will be out but they will be. Hang tight. I promise I'll be back. Podcast Envy is produced by your podcast boss, Andrea Klunder. That's me. The Podcast Envy theme music is by Valentin Sosnitsky, courtesy of the Free Sound Project at freesound.org. And our podcast angel music is by Benjamin Mastropolito, also on freesound.org as Lemon Cream. All music is licensed under the Creative Commons. Our episodes are mixed by Edwin Ruiz. And hey, if you want your show to sound as good as ours, hire us. Put the magic audio mojo of the Creative Imposter Studios to work for you. Thanks so much for listening, and here's to making your podcast the envy of everyone else.